So we did team tackles. We were, had a few teams in mind at the time. We were talking to a couple of teams, to be honest. I'm a big fan of Dota. I've been watching Dota for years, so I knew who like Viking GG was before and like kind of the reputation that they had. So they were like kind of upcoming players that were doing well. And we didn't expect to see instant success, even though it did happen. Um, we thought there was more of a long-term project. GG is called as gaming gladiators with this game four win, three to one, taking this best of five grand. After these roster changes, I think we're like stronger on our end now because we're more free to actually play, do, say whatever we want and just be more comfortable with ourselves. And also the addition of Quinn, he's a very strong player, good laner, he's a good friend and he's really communicative. I've been really happy with the team so far. I can't really complain about anything. They've been very hospitable to me. It's been like really easy to, to slide into the team and into like, like allowing me to play the way I want to play. And also like, it's been very easy for us to like work together, like them assimilating my ideas and me assimilating theirs. And us just like coming to, you know, like the way we want to play. I think um, they're like super receptive to stuff I have to say. And I think that's all you can really want is that people are like easy to work with and that you can like, you can do what you think's right. You know, you don't feel pressure to do things you aren't like that you don't want to do. You're doing them because like you're scared people are going to think badly of you or whatever, you know, that you can you know, like, I think they respect me and think I'm a good player. And because of that, like I can go and I can play how I want to play and you know, it'll work out. For Quinn, I do admire that he is extremely hardworking and very disciplined. That's I think also as a mid laner, that's great to have. I mean, I would rather that than. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Guys. It's all good. It's not your fault. Thank you. We're gonna try this one. We're gonna try this one. Usually they. 
They usually put butter in the crust. I'm not what's sure what's bananas in Spanish, Spanish again? again? <laughs> Platano. <laughs> really? Platano. Um, it's like Platano. Yanni, what is bananas in Spanish is Platanos? Platano. Yeah, Platano. Bitch, bro. Yeah, she's like, I love it. Viva Peru. Viva Peru. Uh, what are you uh, doing? Uh, so they're gonna come get us and message us. Right. Table steps. The bill's gonna be. Is that the national jersey? Yeah, yeah the national jersey. Yeah. What is FPF? Four federal fuckers. I don't think I can say that. Not first try anyway. <laughs> I'm Alex Cocovillo. I am one of the co-founders of Gaming Gladiators and I sometimes act as their manager. I met them in Sweden. Um, it was good. Like we got we got along really well. I'm a very open person, very open personality. I feel like I'm easy to get along with and they're all like great guys as well. A couple of them it took a little longer to kind of become really close with them, but like I'm good friends with them all to this day. Like I talk to them on a regular just about Dota, not just like about work stuff or you know, I'm their boss or they're the players of the org. Like we're friends first. And I think that's just kind of the difference maker, which is why we like really get along and why like the growth of Gaming Gladiators has been so good in Dota 2. I think it was a good combo to be honest. Like I think, I don't know, like the vibes are just always good. Like I think everyone's just happy. Like no one, I never felt like an ounce of like someone wanting to leave or anything. Like I just felt like we've all like always, I don't know, we just bonded really well. And I think that was like a big part of us both growing together as a company and them as players. I mean, for this major, I think it's really cool to have it in South America. The first Dota major in South America is pretty awesome. I mean, I'm from South America myself. So it's pretty cool to actually see that and experience it. Um, haven't experienced it yet, but so far it's been great. My name is uh, Siwai. I'm the coach of Gaming Gladiators, Dota 2 team. I actually think the the group is okay, like I feel like it's quite balanced. I don't have specific fearing any team or anything like that. Also, if we would be in group B, um, I think it's quite balanced overall. I think it's quite good. I admire that Anton, uh, I mean, the Raichu is uh, fearless, never scared uh, as a person and player. That's really cool. Uh, for Quinn, I do admire that he is extremely hardworking and very disciplined. That's, I think, also as a mid laner, that's great to have. Uh, for Ace, he's also, like everybody's hardworking, but it's also hardworking, but I would say specifically for him, uh, that he is extremely confident. I've known him for many years, uh, and even when he was not even on a team for some time, after all the secret times and stuff like that, he was still super confident in his own abilities and have always been the time I've known him. So I admire that a lot, that's hard to do. Um, for Tovo, I admire that he is uh, super creative as a player uh, and as a person, and he uh, he shows that in the game. And for Celery, is that he's highly logical and can think on a very high level about things. So I think that's very cool that we have all these kind of different attributes and goes well together. I'm Eric Engel, also known as Tofu. I play for the Gladiators, the best fucking orc in the world. We're in Peru now in Lima at the major. Um, yeah, this is me. It was the first TI for all of us except Ace. So I think just getting around also was like the second big event for us. It's like really important to get experience, but also get used with this sort of feeling with being around all these players, not getting too invested with having too many impressions, getting to know people and stuff like it kind of overloads you. So it's like good that we have this experience and it's hard to say if there's a group stronger or not. It's also not sure how they balance it, what placements they put where. Also on other regions, I don't really have much info. Like you only see the standings, but I have no idea how good they actually are. 
So hard to say which group is stronger. I only know that we're gonna be in this top four. Well, I could name you many factors, my friend, but I think the most important one that we all know and share as team members is the value of friendship. Each and every one of them, I would trust my fucking life on their back. Maybe not the Russia, but like, I still love them a lot. <laughs> And we're playing with GG for one year now. Last year started with this online period, then we made it to Stockholm, we were kind of owning, then we kind of fell off again, but we made it to uh, TI and like stuff is going well, we keep playing. But for me it's also, that was the first time to actually get into a real professional team, but more as in terms of an org, because I didn't have like a big name before or a big org or someone that supports you like the way you guys do. And I mean, yeah, you can just keep playing and grinding. There's always tournaments and whatever, so you don't really realize for how long stuff is going or what the process was that you went through. But overall, I think as team, a structure, as org that we grew together, we like set a really good foundation where like everyone feels safe and can play and work in a way that is comfortable for them. And overall, I'm really happy with what we've created and like where this is going and i hope that we can keep it up and like do a good job and make everyone proud of it i mean my personal goals are probably to be cruising on a yacht through caribbean ocean or something that's like fucking boss shit but if we're talking about dota i mean be at all these events play well have fun during those times like win some dota also outside we're like chilling, eat together, be in the pool, just have a good time, kind of. But like, win a lot, improve, have fun while doing this, and play as well at events, win some tournaments. I mean, that's why everyone's here. I mean, why am I here? Uh, I chose to play Dota, because I like playing Dota. Uh, it's a good way of living. I make good money, it's a nice job. I don't have to do some ordinary whatever, get me out of here job. Uh, I enjoy playing, being with the guys, being with you guys and uh, just get around, travel and play Dota, it's lots of fun but while you're doing that it's like I just want to do it for the sake of doing it, like now that I'm here I want to win it, right? Uh, hi, my name's uh, Quinn, I play uh, mid or two for Gaming Gladiators. Uh, it's hard to say, I think if I had to say like maybe A is like slightly harder overall but I don't think it really matters that much. And even if it did matter, I think it's generally better to be in the harder group. Um, especially if you feel like you're a team that is like gonna contend to win the tournament. Like you'd rather play the stronger opponents, like have more games that are higher quality and a better meta, or whatever. You can look at like Tundra or like, you know, how well group B did at TI or, you know, whatever for uh, examples of that. So yeah, I mean, I think, um, I, I, don't, I don't really care personally. Like I'm in a st spot right now where like, Whoever we play, it's like kind of whatever to me. I don't know, it doesn't really bother me whatever group I'm in. This team has very strong laners, and I think they have very high skill players. I think that honestly goes a long way. I mean, they also played together for a year before I joined the team. So I think you build, like when you have high skill players who um, are willing to like play what's good in the patch or have like, you know, good hero pools, like they're just skilled players and you play it together for a while and you have like that chemistry, like there's some amount of chemistry that's uh, RNG. Like you can't know necessarily how players will interact or like get along or how they'll mesh like before they play together and so if you have people who are individually good and then they have that like spark that like chemistry where they just work together and then you build upon that over time I think that's just like a recipe for a good team. I think I was like really good and one of the best players for a while and never really got to show that that much like my tournament results in the last several years have been insanely dog water um, so to be in a situation where I think I can prove that and I can go and I can I can show that I am a good player who has very good ideas and is very skilled. Um, I think is is just cool. Like I'm just look for, looking forward to doing that because I haven't been able to do it for a long time. Um, and uh, you know, I'd like to I'd like to prove that for my own sake. And also, you know, throwing up the middle finger to Reddit or whoever is also fun nice too. Uh, yeah, I do know that Peru likes me. All I mean, every time I stream, people come and chat like, "Hey, I'm from Peru. I love your stream." Whatever. Um, I mean, I think it's cool. I think. Uh, I mean, I think SA is honestly probably the most admirable Dota region. They're like cucked in like every way imaginable. Like they didn't have their own qualifier slot for years. They have to fly insanely long hours to every region. They have to play pubs on ping and scrims on ping. I think pretty much everything that could be being annoying for SA is annoying. And they still managed to become like, I don't know, like the probably like the third or, and you could even argue like the third best region in the world right now in terms of like TI results, like they got sixth and eighth. 
sixth and two eighths, or like and from a region that like got just screwed over for like years and years and years. I think honestly, a super impressive region. So it's cool to have them root for me. Nos vemos pronto, amigos.